Hey guys, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use the MCDU from VASMC before takeoff. First thing you're going to do is go to the init page. Up top here you see the from slash to. This is where we enter in the MCDU the two airports where we'll be flying. Let me do a quick tutorial. From Munich, EDDM, to let's say Amsterdam Airport. Note that I have put the slash in between. I then click on this button and it puts my information there. I'm then going to click Align RIS. And if the simulator was running, which uh, right now it isn't for me, you'll see the latitude, your current GPS location right here. Then I'm going to put in my altitude. I can put in anything. I'm just going to put something like Dusseldorf. Then on the left side, I'm going to enter my flight number, KLM 552. Uh, the cost index is most times 30. Um, I'm not going to explain what cost index is, but just as a rule of thumb, just enter 30. Cruise flight level will be 200240. And now I've done the init page. Now, a really nice uh, little word that's going to help you with planning the MCDU is diff rips. D I F R I P P S. Just remember this word and it'll be lots easier. So, D is for data, I is for init, which you're right now. And then comes diff F. So we go to the F page, which is flight plan. We then see the uh, this, the departure airport and the arrival airport and the um, the altitudes of both airports. I'm gonna select EDDM. And I'm gonna select departure. And I'm gonna select the runway. Now, say the wind is coming from uh, eastern direction. I'm gonna select runway eight left. And I'm gonna select the departure. Say the MX1Q. Now, since there's no transitions for this departure, I'm simply going to click Insert. And as you see, uh, all the waypoints of the flight plan have been inserted. Then, what you can do is click Amexo, type in your, um, type in, and then you can do a couple things for the rest of your flight plan. First, you can type in a waypoint here, for example, anything, I don't have a flight plan right now, but say something like EDDF or I can uh, type in right here the um, airway so for example like UL170 slash the waypoint and so what VASMC will do is it from of it, your last waypoint will fly along the uh, the airway until it's reached the um, whoops until it until it has reached your fix. Now the next thing you do is you go to your de destination airport which is Eham. I'm selected, I'm select arrival, I'm select the runway. Say the runway is I don't know ILS 18 right. I can then select an approach and again there's no transition so I'm simply going to click insert. Once I've done that my flight plan is pretty much loaded. Then uh, I'm going to use my little word diff rips. The next letter after F is R, so I'm going to go to the radio navigation page. In there, I can put all my radios, for example, the Munich VUR station uh, and uh, the ADF radios. At this moment, nothing pops up. That's because my simulator isn't running, so VASMC doesn't know what to put in there. But if your simulator is running, you simply put in the ILS with the numbers or the VUR whatever with the numbers and you click for example here if it's a VUR here it's even the ADF should be kind of straightforward so the next word and uh, after this after the radio page diff rips comes I after R so I'm going to go back to the inner page and as you see this this is page one out of two so I'm going to go here with the arrow to the right and you can see a second page the inner B page now if my simulator is running you'd see the zero fuel weight the block weight and the takeoff weight it's always nice to check this information and um, see if it's correct and good. And again, right now it doesn't show up anything because I'm not running my simulator. I then go to the progress page and I can already see my cruise flight level and check a couple of things. Now this function already is really nice. I can, for example, select EHAM. I remember I chose runway 18 left, so I put 18 left. And it says from my current position, when I put it in there, um, it's a bearing 314 is the threshold of the runway world land and the distance. It's good to know if you still want to know how long your flight will last. And then you go to the preference page and this is where I put the preferences of the whole flight. 
So the V1 speed, I'm just going to guess it being 140. The V rotate speed, 145. The V2 speed, 150. The transition out, say 6,000 feet. And then we come to the thrust reduction and acceleration altitude. Now, there's a quick rule of thumb. The thrust reduction is where you take your thrust from toga to climb thrust. And that is always 15, um, 1,500 feet above ground. Now, I know the airport in Munich is 1,500 feet uh, above sea level. So that, that plus 1,500 will be 3,000. And then slash. And then your acceleration speed will be 1,500 more than the first reduction speeds, in this case 4,500. And acceleration altitude is when you uh, put the aircraft from approximately 15 degree pitch up to between 5 and 10 degrees pitch up. Um, then I um, it's like the flex thrust. You have lots of programs out there to calculate that. I most of them just leave it at that, so it's okay. And then next phase, and then I'm going to um, Set my climb speed, say I want to fly 240 knots uh, during my climb. Uh, then I can select that, the MAC, and that's okay with me. Because MAC only activates when you're at um, flight level 240. We go to the next phase, this is the cruise phase, and, I, and it says uh, the pre select cruise speed is 0.78 MAC. Now I always fly 0.84 because I like to get faster in my destination. And so I'm just going to enter that. Next page is the descent page and the approach page, page, but this is not needed before takeoff. The final page you want to go to is the secondary flight plan page and simply copy the ac active just to save it. Then to save it again, I'm going to go to data, save routes in case I don't know your simulated crashes or anything. Okay, now it doesn't work right now, but that's because I don't have X player running. So that is uh, a quick tutorial on how to set up the MCDU. Right now, you should be starting your engines, taxiing through the runway, taking off, and after that, simply hitting the um, autopilot on button. I trust that you read the documentation of Vassim on the um, Vassim C website to know more. I hope that uh, soon I can make a tutorial of a complete flight, hopefully on Sunday. Thank you.